Gorgeous, gorgeous lake. Let me switch this around for you. Check this out, man. It's like 176 acres. Just gorgeous. That was a pike. I think that was a pike. He was sitting out on the edge, or I just finally wore this out and it broke. 65 pound braid. There's a pike right here. Did them, did them. Got him. Oh, it came off. That's a nice northern. That was cool. You know what? Let's dig into the uh, monster bass box and see if I can get this live target popping frog to work for me. Let's shorten these legs a bit though. A little long. Alrighty. Nice short stubby legs. Let's go give this a go. Got some cruisers up here. Let's see if I can get them to bite the Ned. The deadly Nedly. He's on it. He's on it. They're both on it now. Oh, black fly right on the toe. 
Damn, that hurt. Let's do Senko. Turned right at the edge of the weeds. Another bike. <laughs> Missed them. Wow, that was freaking epic. You know, the first lake I went to, gorgeous lake, cool lake, just, it was off. Something was just, my gut was telling me something was off with that lake. Caught those two rock bass, cool fish. I mean, they fought good for, for rock bass, but I was fishing small year. Um, but there was this lake around the corner that I really wanted to check out if that lake just sucked and it did. And I'm glad I came over here very hard, very hard to get the boat in and out on this lake. Uh, so you guys with glass rigs, this is not gonna happen. Um, aluminum rig almost didn't happen. So, man, just gotta then clean up the boat. I'm gonna head down to my campsite for the night, get some food in me, cause I am starving. And, uh, yeah, wow. Northern Michigan, man, there are some gems up here and this lake here, that's a gem. Mm. That is a gem. There we go. 
first one of the day. Not super big, but not big like yesterday, but it's a fish. a little more respectable. There we go. He ate it good. Cool. Wasn't very deep. Not bad, little fish. That's better. So, I'm finishing up doing part three of my trip up north, and I realized I did a really crappy day of filming on day three. Didn't really get much footage, didn't catch a lot of fish, didn't really show what happened the rest of the day. Um, got off the water around 11-ish and then drove on down to my next campsite for the night. And then from there on, it was solid work for the rest of the week for me. Um, but that trip was awesome. Frustrating, but awesome at the same time. I cannot wait to go back up north and go back to that one lake. Um, and explore more of that because I've hardly even touched the surface on that lake. Um, but yeah, if you guys have not got a chance to go explore northern Michigan, please do pick up the Sportsman's Connect books and just read the books and pick out lakes and try them. You never know what you're going to find. I don't always find lakes like that second one on day two, but you always find a lot of cool things you've never seen before using those books. Um, so get out there, guys. Go fishing. Thank you for tuning in to the channel and the series. This is my first attempt at trying to do one of these series. So let me know how I did down in the comments. What you think? Should I do more of these? And uh, as always, tight lines, happy casting. And we'll see you in the next video.